Our group is uh, broadly interested in questions of interaction of biological and robotic systems with uh, complex natural environments. Fire ants are, of course, a nasty invasive species, and that's why a lot of people first started studying them. And so their biology is extremely well known, and for that reason, we became interested in studying how they move around in the ground. The first thing we studied, we learned about how the animals dig nests within the ground. The nests consist of tunnels and little chambers, and we were able to visualize these using laboratory apparatus, which allows us to track the movement of ants and the movement of the, uh, the growth of the tunnels over time. We noticed that while the amount of soil the animals could excavate uh, changed, the diameter of the vertical tunnels that they created in the first few hours of their uh, digging behavior uh, remained independent of the soil type. For me, one of the most surprising things that we found was the way that these ants are using their antennae. So antennae have typically been thought just to be sensory appendages, but I was stunned when I saw them sort of tumbling through these tubes and catching themselves using their antennae, using them as extra limbs. Nick Gravish was a PhD student in our group, was the student who really pioneered the techniques uh, that are reported in this paper. And we placed ants and, some, and a soil between two glass planes to basically make a kind of scientific grade ant farm. And over a period of hours, we watched as the ants excavated tunnels within these uh, scientific ant farms. We were able to visualize the so-called kinematics of the movement of the ants and observe how they use their limbs and different body parts, including antennae, to move rapidly uh, within the tunnels. The final aspect of the study was that uh, we wanted to understand uh, the, how the ants create uh, tunnels, not just in a sort of scientific ant farm, but in a more natural environment. So Nick Gravish, along with a postdoc in our group, Dr. Daria Monankova, uh, created a homemade X-ray computed tomography system, which allowed us to peer into the soil in cylindrical uh, containers and allowed us to actually visualize the networks of tunnels that the ants created in three dimensions. And we found that the tunnels they created in three dimensions had comparable diameters to those we found in our scientific ant farms. So we think that these findings could be very useful for roboticists. In particular, the ants are telling us about problems they face when they're moving around underground, that they're frequently slipping, that they're, they may have trouble grasping onto the sides of walls, etc. And so you can imagine that if you want to build an underground digging robot in the future, these are things that the roboticists would have to consider and maybe build into their robot. How, do, how does a robot catch itself if it slips? How can it move up and down tunnels easily? How can it dig? These are all things that the ants are telling us about.